हाँ जी सत करतार एवरी वन वाहगुरु जी का खालसा वाहू जी की फतेह नमस्कार सलाम वालेकुम ते जी आया नु दिस इज द 144th बैठक ऑफ द यारनाद वर्चुअल बैठक सीरीज um 144वां मेला एज वी से um टुडे इज वेरी यूनिक इट्स अ फर्स्ट कन्वर्सेशन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बी हैविंग विद ए फेलो इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेकर uh in fact he makes organs and uh quite 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 a quite a personality i'm really looking forward to this conversation and um claudio pinki is an italian organ builder based in uh foligno a town known for its manufacturing traditions uh he started his apprenticeship under his father guido uh continuing a family tradition of building new instruments and restoring historical organs quite an exciting that's 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 quite a story uh the pinky family has been involved in the trade since the 1920s with the establishment of fabrica artigiana di organi pinky in 2001 claudio was involved in the ideation and building of a clave organ Uh, a cohesion between organ and harpsichord for professor claudio brizzi whom i have had the fortune of conversing with and uh, of course we me uh, claudio both the claudios claudio brizzi and claudio pinki uh, claudio to the power of 2 and i are planning already to do some things in the near future uh, and thus was created the pinki pedal piano system uh the pinky organi company has built 430 new organs in italy and abroad and supplied its organs for numerous recording sessions and concerts for theaters companies and soloists among the most famous organs is the organ at san uh, san pio of pietrelcina pietre pietrelcina church designed by renzo piano uh it is uh, got 78 stops 5.814 pipes um and four key keyboards that's 5814 pipes is it cinque villa otto cento quattordici pipes uh and the organ of the basilica of santa maria dei angeli in assisi in addition to the, to designing the project based on the impression of the location in which the instrument will be situated uh claudio deals with the entire project chain from the tonal design of the organ pipes to the final voicing and tuning his method is based on the work done in the final destination of the organ uh he's working on he's working uh, restoring the angelo caetani organ of rome's church of saint mary magdalene in capranica prenestina and on the domenico fedeli fedeli uh fedeli domenico domenico fedeli yeah. organ of uh, san vitale church in assisi thank you for that claudio uh so dosto i'll just now introduce you in my mother tongue punjabi which is not too far from italian especially in neapolitan <laughs> so just think that you're uh, listening to something to the east of neapolitan um so dosto mitro mere jaani dushmano i uh, address all my friends and enemies by the way claudio that's what i said in punjabi just now <laughs> so to the amici and amici to i i address everyone so dosto darindeo prindeo te mere jaani dushmano ji aaya nu aaj 144 vi a baithak series da e mela hega मैं बड़ा शुक्रगुजार हाँ तुम समा कटते हो देखते हो मेरे नाल जुड़ जाते हो कदे कदे भुले बिसरे तो अज तू जी आए नज बड़ी खास मुलाकात थोड़ी करा रहे हैं ये यार नाद वर्चुअल बैठक सीरीज की पहली हैगी इज़ अ फस्ट कन्वरसेशन जो मैं अर्ज किया कि एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेकर के नाल लूथियर के नाल और ऑर्गन बिल्डिंग इज मो इज ब्लेंड ऑफ लूथियरी एंड मशीनस यू नो इट्स क्वाइट अ कॉम्पलैक्स सिस्टम uh it's actually a machine it's like almost like you're driving uh, a vehicle but it's a sonic vehicle um or ina di jehdi claudio pinki jehde italy de folinio shehar hai ga utthe de vasneek han ke utthe di jehdi manufacturing badi mashhoor hai utpadan utthe da bahut mashhoor reha 
ਔਰ ਕਲਾਉਡੀਓ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਿਤਾ ਗੁਇਦੋ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਚ ਬਹਿ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਲਾ ਹੈ ਸਿੱਖਣੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਔਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਿੱਚ 1920 ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਕਾਰਜ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਇਮੇਜਿਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਬਣਾਈ ਸੀ ਫੈਬਰਿਕ ਕਾਰ ਤੇ ਚਾਨੇ ਦੀ ਆਰਗੈਨਿਕ ਪਿੰਕ ਕੀ ਇਹ 1920 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀ 2001 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨੇ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਕਲਾਉਡੀਓ ਬ੍ਰੀਟਸੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟਰੀ ਅਸੀਸੀ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟਰੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਨੇ ਆਰਗਨ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਨਵਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹਾਈਬ੍ਰਿਡ ਸੀਗਾ ਆਰਗਨ ਤੇ ਹਾਪਸੀ ਕੋਡ ਦਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਸਰੰਦਾ ਹਾਈਬ੍ਰਿਡ ਉਹ ਸੁਰਿੰਦਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਈ ਜਣੇ ਵਜਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਸਰੰਦੇ ਦਾ ਜਾਂ ਸ਼ਮਿੰਦਰਪਾਲ ਹੋਣੀ ਵੀ ਵਜਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਸਰੰਦੇ ਦਾ ਥੱਲੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਫਰੈਟ ਬੋਰਡ ਉਹ ਸਰੰਗੀ ਦਾ ਬਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਹਾਈਬ੍ਰਿਡ ਸਾਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ origignal ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਪਰ ਨਵੇਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਨਵੇਂ ਨਵੇਂ ਜੇ ਅੱਛੇ ਅਕਲ ਨਾਲ ਬਣੇ ਹੋਣ ਤੇ ਭਲੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਥਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਕਲਾਵੀ ਆਰਗਨ ਇਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਰਗਨ ਤੇ ਹਾਪਸੀ ਕੋਰਡ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਮਿਸ਼ਰਣ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਉਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਪਿੰਕੀ ਪੈਦਲ ਪਿਆਨੋ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਚੱਜ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਵਾਲਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਸਿਖਾਉਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਚੋਰ ਕਰੇ ਚੋਰੀ ਤੋਂ ਪਕੜਾ ਤਾਂ ਜਾਏ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਵੀ ਨੇ ਚੋਰ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸ਼ਰਾਰਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਅਕਾਦਮਿਕ ਨਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਅਕਾਦਮਿਕ ਦੇਣ ਵੀ ਮੰਨੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਪੁਰਾਣਾ ਰਾਗ ਲੈ ਲਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਨਵਾਂ ਦੇਤਾ ਜਾਂ ਪੁਰਾਣਾ ਸਾਜ਼ ਲੈ ਲਿਆ ਸ਼ਕਲ ਉਹਦੀ ਨਵੀਂ ਬਣਾਤੀ ਜਿਹਦਾ origignal ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਈ ਲੈਣਾ ਦੇਣਾ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਪਿੰਕੀ ਪੈਡਲ ਪਿਆਨੋ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਹਾਪਸੀ ਕੋਰਡ ਤੇ ਆਰਗਨ ਦਾ ਮਿਸ਼ਰਣ ਸੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਹੈ ਪਿੰਕੀ ਆਰਗਨਿਕ ਕੰਪਨੀ 430 ਨਿਊ ਆਰਗਨ ਸਾਡੇ 400 ਯਾਨੀ ਕਿ 430 ਨਵੇਂ ਆਰਗਨਸ ਇਟਲੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਔਰ ਬਾਹਰਲੇ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ 'ਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਣਾਏ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਆਰਗਨਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਸੈਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੋਣ ਜਾਂ ਕਨਸਰਟਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਥੀਏਟਰਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਪਨੀਜ਼ ਤੇ ਸੋਲੋਇਸਟਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵਜਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸੈਂ ਸੈਂ ਪੀਓ ਆਫ ਪੀਟਰਲ ਚੀਨਾ ਚਰਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਥੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਆਰਗਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਰੈਂਜੋ ਪਿਆਨੋ ਦਾ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਈਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਿਹਦੇ 78 ਸਟਾਪ ਸੰਗੇ ਤੇ 5814 ਪਾਈਪਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਤੇ ਚਾਰ ਕੀਬੋਰਡਸ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇੱਕ ਆਰਗਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਬੜਾ ਉਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਸਿਲਿਕਾ ਆਫ ਸੈਂਟਾ ਮਰੀਆ ਦੇ ਆਂਜਲੀ ਇਨ ਅਸੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਹੈ ਉਥੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਆਰਗਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਯਾਨੀ ਕਿ ਕਾਫੀ ਕੰਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਪੂਰੀ ਐਂਟਰਪ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਹੈਗਾ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦਿਖਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਫਾਈਨਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੋਇਸਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਟਿਊਨਿੰਗ ਆਪ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਟੋਨਲ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਈਨ ਇਹ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਸਤਾਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਪੂਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਚੇਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਖਾਸ ਇਹ ਅਖੀਰ ਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਉਹਦੀ ਵੋਇਸਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਟਿਊਨਿੰਗ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਆਪ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਆਂਜਲੋ ਕੈਤਾਨੀ ਆਰਗਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਰੋਮ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚਰਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਸੈਂਟ ਮੈਰੀ ਮਗਦਲੇ ਨੇ ਕਪਰਾਨੀ ਕਪਰੇਨਸਤੀਨਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਔਰ ਡੋਮੈਨਿਕੋ ਫਿਦੇਲੀ ਆਰਗਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੈਂਟ ਵਿਟਾਲੇ ਚਰਚ ਅਸੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ
<laughs> we, we lost one and a half month, but now we're recovering. <laughs> uh, okay. That's, uh, um, so uh, it's quite an interesting story. You know, it's 90, uh, 100 years. In fact, this is your father's, this is the centenary year. Huh? Congratulations for that. This is 100 years is extraordinary a journey. No, it's, uh, you know, the, um, the firma was founded in 1930. Probably there is yeah. a mistake in the Oh, I see. I, I, I was, because I was, uh, anyway. when we spoke, it was 30s, but I was looking at my team. Uh, I think there was some miscommunication. When I was reading, I said 20s, I yeah. thought it was 30. Uh, I just said 90. Then I corrected myself. I said, but it should have been yeah. 90. Yeah. <laughs> Continue yeah. anyway, yeah. Uh, but ninety is still so worth the, complimenting. Yeah, ninety. No, no, it's okay. It's still <laughs> a lot of time. Yeah. The the interesting part is that my grandfather, who founded the firma, um, he, he studied. He he took his apprentice with the Zeno Fedeli, who was hmm. a very famous builder, and the last of the dynasty of Fedeli. Oh, you know, I see. We, we today we, res, we we restore organs that have more than four hundred years from this family. I see. So uh, a very long tradition that is not corrupted or interrupted. I see. So that's the, the the most interesting part. So that nothing until today uh, has ever stopped in this timeline. Fantastic. And that's the the nice part of the of the job. Yeah, yeah. And uh, of course, uh, it's a very complicated uh, job. Uh, it takes a long time training uh, in several disciplines because you have to uh, take care of every single part of an organ, which is a very complicated machine. So uh, there is some mechanic, there is some architectural fact, there is some stylish fact you have mm. to to give a good shape to the to the organ or uh, sound and appearance they have to be in harmony mm. because something that is not good to see uh, y your brain will start thinking that will also not be so good to hear <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to listen to so <laughs> i i like to to consider an organ as a Lively, uh, 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 how can I say, uh, something that live, and that it is uh, composed of so many, so many parts mm. that they have to be in uh, agree all together. Yeah, it has in to. Harmony. It has uh, to be in harmony. Yes, exactly in consultation. But yes. uh, so the Fide Fideli uh, Fideli family is since four centuries. Yes, we have the, the, the beginning of the family is from the 17th century uh -huh. and uh, they started in the small town that is exactly in the middle between uh, Marche region and Umbria region. I see. But at that time there was no regions at all. Yeah. There was the Gran Ducato yeah, and exactly. uh, <laughs> there were uh, places where the church, the Vatican or... Yeah was uh, <laughs> in chief so your all. tradition is a little junior than mine mine is five and a quarter centuries old <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> so you have to behave with me <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> uh, you have to I treat me with little respect and i have to be brash with you i have to be pretentious with you <laughs> but uh, yeah, we will have a, a time to spoke to speak about my my great uh, my great respect for for your tradition no, uh, and all the traditions from your country no. because i i read some books and uh, i love to 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 study about yeah so. i'm hoping that uh, in the very near future we will have uh, 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 you know uh, you you construct an organ in india so maybe that will be fantastic. It will be, uh, <laughs> why not? Yes, absolutely. And um, um, so tell me, you were telling about your grandfather and this Fideli, uh, the, um, um, the last gentleman from that line. Yes. So that family does not 
make any more or is there still the family still lives there are some uh, relatives but uh, they didn't took part in the job okay so they that so zeno okay zeno was the last one that uh, worked as organ builder mm -hmm. and he died in 1929 i see he, he had two doc uh, one or two doctors but no no none of them uh, continued with the tradition mm -hmm. then the the company was held for a certain time from uh, another man from Foligno that was uh, Giustozzi and uh, my grandfather started his own business I because see. Uh, this uh, man married the the doctor of uh, Fedeli I see so he made a joint venture <laughs> I, see. I see but at the end uh, after his death the the company closed it and uh, and we, we still continue we uh -huh, try to okay. <laughs> and so how long did your grandfather study with uh, him uh, since he was 18 uh, because or a little bit more early than the 18 uh, until the death we so saw the uh, 21 eight years about Eight nine years. Eight nine years. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Yes. And, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. then he, he had almost all the knowledge. He was mm -hmm. very smart. I think my grandfather was very smart to understand how to make a production in series mm -hmm. uh, and in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was the time of the industrial revolution after the Second World War. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the first world war and then uh, during the second world war he had the the, uh, the workshop bombed for two times really? so he had to stop then yes yes Gosh. because unfortunately it was exactly on the right way <laughs> so it was a strategic point I see. and uh yeah, so both the Americans and the German <laughs> both, bombed. Both. It's all together. <laughs> Caught in the crossfire. <laughs> yeah. So you can now claim that but the Germans have played your or, your family's organs and so have the Americans. <laughs> Instead of saying bombed them, you can claim that they played them. <laughs> Play. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Instead of playing and with the fingers, they played with the bombs. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, after that, he, after the Second World War, he rebuilt the, the shop in another place, mm -hmm. a little bit far than the right way this time, <laughs> so, <laughs> just to be sure. And since the time, he uh, started to build organs and always bigger, bigger, you know, you start with the small ones mm -hmm. because you need to fix your knowledge. Right. And then... You can grow on up, and uh, he arrived to build a huge organs uh, with uh, 40, 50 stops and more. So it's, it's uh, not exactly the same when you, you build a small or medium to the big one, because mm -hmm. the jump from the mid sides to the big ones is enormous. I see. Uh, uh, from from one to three keyboards, uh, you can easily manage if you know the job. Mm -hmm. When you start to do four or five manuals, then the <laughs> it's the game complex, starts yeah. to be hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a hard game. I like that. So uh, shall we shall yeah. we shall we start uh, uh, to everyone? We've uh, me and uh, Claudio have put together a little PDF in which uh, I requested him. That if you could tell us, I mean, it's a, it, the process is very many months long. In fact, even when I'm making a taus or a rabab or a saranda, uh, it takes, you know, because the, we season the wood while making. We work on, like in my tradition, uh, we work with wet wood and we dry it in the fly as it is taking shape. Uh -huh. And uh, so it takes several months, sometimes even two years. I, mean, I now hardly get a chance to uh, make them, but I have to start soon. There are many, many requests. 
Um, but just to tell everyone that as this is this process which Claudio Pinky works with takes several months, uh, he will of course be able to tell his story using maybe several hundred photos. But I requested him if we can uh, zero in on to some photos so that he, we can we can all have an idea of uh, a little peep into uh, you know the process of uh, organ uh, making. He was very kind uh, and uh, dig out dug out about 70 images uh, of different stages. I think there are about 11 stages. And uh, me and him, we worked. He collected the photos. I put together the PDF and so on and so forth. So, uh, uh, Claudio, shall we start uh, showing and so that everyone who's joining can have an idea of uh, uh, what what uh, we are talking about? Um, uh, okay. The beginning is, of course, uh, the Inizio, of course. And um, um, here we go. Uh, okay. The first image. So, uh, a, a brief uh, explanation. This is the project of a small organ with uh, 11 stops that we built last year for the San Benedict uh, convent in uh, Norcia, mm -hmm. in the monastery, uh, that was destroyed by the earthquake in 2016. Oh, and now they are in this uh, small church that made of wood, but the organ will be moved to the uh, real church as soon as uh, they finish the work of restoration. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for an organ builder, when you start a new project, uh, it's like for the painter to have a white canvas, because we have a church, we have a style, we have a, a place, and we have to try to uh, give to the customer a rough idea of size and uh, um, appearance of the instrument. So in this uh, draw you see the, the small church reconstructed with a CAD uh, drawing and a first proposal just to give the idea of what is in my mind. So mm -hmm. uh, how I intend to put the pipes so you see it's a very simple draw with no embellishment, no woodworking. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to explain to the customer, okay, I think that this is the best position. The, the sound can be good from here. Uh, so uh, uh, tell, uh, tell me one thing before we, uh, you know, before we continue with the sound part. Uh, when you say 11 stops or 7 stops, at 10, what do you mean by the stops? A stop? is a rank of pipes that start with the biggest one which uh, I see. is on the first key of the keyboard mm -hmm. and the smallest one is the last key of the keyboard. I see, so seven stops uh, means every, seven, seven octaves. No, seven stops are seven ranks of pipes. I see, seven ranks, which, seven, okay, seven lines. Which are related to every, every rank have uh, for example, a normal keyboard have 61 notes from C to C, mm. okay? Big C to small C. So if I say that this organ have 10 stops, it means that there are 61 pipes for 10 ranks. I see. So 610 pipes. I see, okay. Some stops can be multiply of ranks. So uh, they can have 3, 5, 10 ranks. I so see. if you pull one stop, you are uh, playing more than 600 pipes. <laughs> so Fantastic. that's a, a, a little bit tricky to understand. But Amazing. No, no, uh, we are there to understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. In this case, we have uh, a very simple instrument with 11 stops. That means 11 ranks with a... Uh, 54 stop this is 54 notes because it's a smaller keyboard right so it's an organ with uh, with uh, 540 pipes mm -hmm. and uh, what do you see is that there are two keyboards right there are one one pedal board you can play with your foot and the stop knobs this is a small black uh, made with turning machine that you can pull to to open and close every every single uh, voice i see so 
if we go to the second image yes i'm there just now i, I went there yeah ah, okay this is a second proposal where i try to show that we can do also something nice to see okay I see. so uh, the design uh, on the, the top you know? uh -huh. carving yes on. design of the top then you discuss with the customer for the of course for the drawing pro for the appearance part and in the third you see the final draw where the customer asked for a special design because this is the typical italian uh, uh, prospect I see. Uh, in in our you know in our region mm -hmm. uh, the the very old instruments from the early 16th century uh, until the almost the 17th uh -huh. uh, you find this uh, five we say that there are five fields of pipes mm. and these two small uh, prospect pipes you see in the top top yes in they the are, center yes we call we call it uh, uh, dead organs because I they see. don't speak oh i they see just for you know uh, dummy pipes i see more correct they're for a visual English. they're like a visual delight <laughs> exactly sometimes they are also speaking pipes but uh, it's not common uh, on bigger organs you you used to make also speaking pipes i see not in this case I this see. is just for for uh, the the beauty of, of the style and then we decided also to make the moldings and the gilding with the silver foil I see. and uh, and painting then we, we will see later i see I so see. once the once the project is uh, defined so the customer uh, have agreed with the appearance and the number of stops and mm. of course of the price because <laughs> that's an important part yeah uh, we start with the projecting uh, of the wall organ, so the keyboard and the wind chests and all the parts that will make the organ working. Hmm. And this is a long process. It takes about one month to, to make a final draw and start the production. Hmm. And it, we, we are speaking about uh, 11 stops. I see. So, a very small organ right, okay? right you can imagine how long it takes to make drawings for uh, 80 stops organ wow it takes months so uh, once we decide everything about the measure the style because uh, organs can be of several uh, different styles depend from which kind of music you intend to play on so if you like like in this case uh, we we would like to have a typical italian organ hmm. mm, mm, we can say classic okay right uh, so we take uh, the classic measure for the keyboards and for the pipes hmm. And we take inspiration from an organ from 1509. I see. That is 500 years I see. old. <laughs> that we re we restored in 2005. I see. This organ. So we, we, we know all the measure. And uh -huh. I thought, okay, this is a good a chance to, to build something that is in our tradition. Right. But actually, actualize it. Hmm. Not not uh, simply a copy. I, right. I don't like the the, the, the in, in my job copying is a a possibility, but not the first one yes. for me. Yes. So uh, you are now on the picture number. We go uh, we go to the next one, which is uh, the drawing one. Okay, the yeah. the keyboard. Yeah, the keyboard. Okay. And then we can the speak drawing. About yes. You, so this is the process where you're measuring the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were defining the exact sides of the keys. I see. Because the the measure of keyboard 
are important uh, uh, because some things you can do on ancient keyboard mm -hmm. but it's much harder to do that things on the modern one mm. so if you if you think to a classic organ an Italian typical Italian organ you cannot do with a normal key like a piano because the player will be in a big difficult with the articulation mm. because every keyboard have different uh, distance from notes and depth of the keys mm. so the way you play change so the the, the standard the modern keyboard is good for some music but cannot be as good as for the modern music also for the old one i see Fantastic. So the next process so we were, is uh, is on selecting woods. Uh, so after you've yeah. done all the measurements, um, yeah, that that that's a, 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 a little trick because the woods were selected much before the drawing. <laughs> I see. Because uh, uh, differently from you. You, you say that you work your uh, instruments with the live wood yeah. that dry during the process. Mm. In our case, we have to work with dried wood. Yes, yeah. Mm. And that's very important mm. because the, the part where we go, we are going to, to build, uh, they don't have to move for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, the organ will start to make strange sounds because the wind hmm. uh, will go everywhere. Right, right. So, the the wood selection is made some months. You know, as soon as we sign the contract, we we have, of course, the most common wood we use in the stock. Hmm. But for a special work, like in this case, they ask it for a chestnut I see. Uh, case work. Mm. to match the existing uh, bench mm. of the church. So we have to select the, the, the beautiful chestnut, local chestnut. Mm. And they ask it also for a very precious uh, uh, woodwork for keyboard and for details. I see. I see. Okay? Mm. So when we started selecting wood, we have to choose, uh, the, for example, the... the Walnut hmm. that we use it for the wind chest is the if you see this the first picture is the yes. big uh, this big tables very dark hmm. this is the Italian typical Italian chestnut mm -hmm. and then you see the one the sorry the walnut not the chestnut mm -hmm. and the the clearer one is the chestnut and then there is a very black table yes and you will see better in the in the close up which is palisander it's mm -hmm. an exotic exotic wood that must must use it for the keyboarding guitar or violin mm -hmm. and we use it for the sharp keys i see for the black the black keys mm -hmm. so the it is very important to buy the wood and selecting the tables uh, that match always the same design mm. because when you build uh, if you have to build a violin it's it's easier to find a couple of tables that look similar yes you have to cover a very small surface mm. but if you have to build an organ and you have to make something that is maybe four six meters tall yeah. It's not so good to see that the, <laughs> the, the wood is not all the same. Yes. <laughs> so it's a, it's a critical point if you want to, to give a very good case. Right. right. And you have, to, you have to have a very good supplier and very passion. Mm. Because <laughs> you ask, you please open and let me see. <laughs> yeah. But not, 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 not many uh, yeah. uh, agree with this. Mainly because not more, not many work are l last with uh, yeah. real wood work. Mm -hmm. So we can see these different kind of woods. 
yeah. that we and the the most uh, soft we used to put in higher places where it's more warm mm. for a quicker dry. Right. right. And then we start when we when we start to work this kind of woods, uh, we we give a first cut to the we peel off the the, 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 the surface of the wood mm -hmm. and we bring near the correct sides and then we wait for one, two, three months more. Right, the seasoning ha must after, happen. The wind yes. chest, the first and is the wind we, chest, for example, right, right, right. Yes, so we, we bring the, the wood to the final uh, sides, the final thickness only at the very last moment uh -huh. to give the, the the most of the time uh, the wood to move and to adjust itself i see and this is very important especially mm -hmm. for the parts that had to work with wind because wind is will dry the, will dry the yeah. must. <laughs> mm -hmm. so how uh, how much so margin do you keep in this when you uh, for example in the first image, uh, the uh, the planks are standing, which are already shaped, right? Um, uh, do in you our work, we accept a tolerance that is always under the millimeter. So, uh, it, it, so the wood, be, because it is already seasoned, is it? The wood is already seasoned and there will be no warping. It will remain where it is. It is just going to dry, that's it. Yeah. Only for finishing. Yes. Okay. Of course, the, there are some parts of the organ which are less sensible to the moving of wood. I see. For example, the case wor the case work. Mm -hmm. uh, we 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 made the panel and we made the junction between the panel mm -hmm. in a way that they can move to compensate. For example, in the se the, the different seasons. Mm -hmm. Because here we have a uh, very cold winter, maybe, and very wet summer. Yeah. So it is impossible to stop the wood from moving. Yeah. Of course. But we, we keep this in our mind and we try to give the, the correct uh, margins mm -hmm. to the wood to move. Okay. But there are some parts, some parts they have not to move. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's why we use harder wood like the walnut, right, which right. is very hard to, to work. High density, yeah. So the, the, in some case, the tolerance is zero. <laughs> oh, I see. It cannot be different. I see, I see. If, if you think that in very big organs, uh, from the key, on the keyboard, mm. And uh, the pallets that give wind to the pipe, mm. in the middle there are trackers that are 10 meters, 12 meters long, mm. and the tolerance is less than half millimeter. My goodness, that's fantastic. <laughs> because otherwise you you play the key and the valve didn't open. Right. Or, or don't open enough to give the right wind to the pipes. Mm. So that's why it's very important that nothing moves. Mm. Because on 15 meters or 12 meters organ, like in San Giovanni Rotondo, mm. uh, you between summer and winter, you have something like 30 degrees Celsius in difference. Amazing. So you have 12 meters organ move of two centimeters. And that's not possible. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, it's a really <laughs> critical issue. <laughs> I mean, to make something in India so, would, would be quite a story in that sense, because the expansion, yeah. the humidity, uh, the extremes are much and the wood will, apart from the warping, that which has to be anticipated in advance, it is the expansion and contraction. Yes, of course. But in that case, uh, it's 
quite intelligent to use uh, some special woods mm. that are more resistant to the to the movement, like right. mahogany, for right. example, mm. or a yellow pine, which is a very very strong wood mm -hmm. and they resist to wet to water. I also. see. Uh -huh. So we we know how to, but. Of course, every every single uh, uh, case is different. Right. So, right. so tell me the last image uh, which this uh, gentleman is uh, working on. Is it the base of the keyboard which is being prepared? Uh, which one? Yeah, you are after the Winchest. In the Winchest, mm -hmm. yes. In the Winchest, the yeah. last image of the Winchest. Yes, you see that this is the lower part of the Winchester. Right. And these uh, these are the pallets. The name is pallets. Yeah. And uh, you see there are... These when you press the keys, these small, open. Uh, the keys are exactly. on top of that, right? It is reversed. It is yes. upside down, right. Exactly. Right. And uh, all you see, where you see white, the white is the leather. Oh, that makes sense. Seal. I was wondering, I was wanting, because that would have been otherwise very soft wood, <laughs> almost like balsa yes. or... No. Sp <laughs> yeah, it's not that. <laughs> it's no, leather. It's okay. uh, lamb skin. Right, okay. It's lamb skin on both sides, I on see. the palette and on the surface. I see. To, to guarantee the, the, that no wind will go in. Right. And what, what glue do you use now? You still use traditional glues or uh, uh, new glues now? Do you need do you animal hide glue or what? Uh, in restoration work, we use the animal glue. Okay. Because it's, uh, we have to warranty the, the reversi reversible of, yes. the of the work you do. Yeah, reverse engineering. Yeah, what was used. So you have to find out yeah. what was used and you have to match it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In uh, modern organs, it depends. For example, here we use the both... Uh, we don't use vinylic glue. Uh, actually, we use uh, mainly the aliphatic glue. Uh -huh. you, you know, this uh, glue made for especially for lute. It's a um, very nice glue. And what's but the age of that? Glue. I mean, uh, if in case restoration is needing, it can come off or you have to uh, use certain materials to remove. In 20, 30 no, years, what will be the remove. process? You have to remove totally, scrap it. Uh, if you want to, 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 to be sure that the new glue stay and last, you have to clean very well, the right. old one. Yes, uh -huh. okay. So we, we, we use uh, the, the normal uh, uh, animal glue, mm -hmm. but the, the surface, first we, we, we restore the surface and we clean very well with the water, hot water and uh, the sponges and right. the clothes. Right, right. So we go to the keyboard section now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here on the first uh, picture, you see uh, why is so dramatic, uh, important the the wood. Yes. This is the table. This is the table where we cut the lever mm -hmm. of the keeper. So if you look very close to the picture, you will see that there are very very narrow piece of wood glued together. Yes. It's not a, a big piece of wood, mm. but we, we made stripes of two centimeters, almost two centimeters, and we glue it together in the, um, respecting the, the, the veneering of wood, and we put one on the, uh, we can say, even side and one on the odd side. So, uh, alternatively, Right. So at the end, the, the, the wood will move in two different directions, but the tension of the table will be uh, almost the same. Right. 
That's very really smart. We have to do this for every. Yeah. Yeah. And after we make the gluing, then we we bring the table to the final uh, thickness, always with a long, long process of cutting and uh, uh, peeling off one millimeter, mm -hmm. and then we wait, and then mm -hmm. another millimeter for on both sides and until we reach the, the final the final thickness. Mm -hmm. After that, in the, in the next uh, uh, picture, you see we, we draw on the table the, right. the cut for the keys. Hmm. And here you see also the sharp keys that we cut uh, from the palisander. Mm -hmm. And because of the special work they asked for, we made also the tarsia on the keys and you will see on the next picture so with uh, thanks to the modern technology <laughs> in this case uh -huh. we use a uh, laser machine oh i cut. see that's cheating see? claudio <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. that, that's a, a a really dramatic speed up to the work isn't it because <laughs> starts, yeah, Tarsia take a long time normally. Yeah. And using using laser machine, uh, it's dramatically faster <laughs> and precise. <laughs> yes. You can you can say they are all the same. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so this special design they ask it for. They uh -huh. choose this very nice nice design for mm -hmm. the sharp key. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, we glue it on the top of the keys you see in the next picture. Mm -hmm. And here in, the, in this picture, you see that the two keyboards are already cutted. Brilliant. Okay. And you see there are holes in the back of the keys. Mm -hmm. And in these two holes, you will make the, the wires going through mm -hmm. and lock these wires under every keyboard. And this will be the main action of the organ. Wow. It's already looking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, in the next picture, you see the keyboard finished. Yes. Uh, and inserted in the organ together with many others mm -hmm. uh, part. And this uh, special design of keyboard um, we call uh, shift coupling because you can move the key the second keyboard the mm -hmm. the one on the top mm -hmm. will move forward and backward oh i see will yes and it will permit the coupling of the two, two keys so once you pull the keyboard at you that's amazing you will play it's a, it's a trick. <laughs> you, it's a, like to have a forehand because you yes. you play on the first and the second will fall yes. together to the first. I see. And downstairs in the picture you see also the rest of the mechanics for the pedal. Yeah. And this uh, black board you see uh, vertically on the top of keyboard is named roller board. I see. Okay. This mechanical part uh, is made to to permit a different design of the organ respect to the keyboard. So you know the keyboard go from 1 to 61 mm -hmm. and the pipes logically they have to go from 1 to 61. Mm. But if you look at the design of the organ, you will see that the pipes are not on a straight line, but yes. they made a design. Mm. So with the rollerboard, you put the design you like in prospect, and you move the pipes on the chest, uh, taking the first, uh, for example, taking the first note on the far left mm -hmm. and bring it to the middle of the organ. Mm. So it's like a transportation of the of the note from one position to another. Right. And that's how we can draw this beautiful uh, prospect in the old organs. Amazing. 
That's amazing. See it is uh, in the last picture of the keyboard. It's beautiful. The, wow. front, of, the front of the key yeah. uh, have this uh, this decoration that we call the snail. Right. This is also laser and done or is, hand done? This is uh, also laser? Hand done. Uh -huh. hand done. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. This is made with a special uh, turning point. Right, right. With a standard, you know, with a normal uh, uh, drilling machine. Right. But, uh, but you have to build your own uh, snail, mm -hmm. starting from a metal, uh, uh, a metal piece. Mm -hmm. And then you can make your own draw of the style you like. Right, right. It's amazing. Beautiful. Compliments for this. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And then we come to the bellows, the breath, the yes. lungs. <laughs> the lungs of the, the instrument. Lungs, exactly. <laughs> the bellows are the lungs of the organ. So the, the wind will be uh, conserved in this uh, in this bellows mm. and the bellows have two functions the first function of course is to give the reservoir of wind to the organ uh -huh. so when you play the wind not, must not be uh, too few or the organ don't have to lack of air otherwise you will hear like the people that oh, I, I cannot breathe anymore. Yes. So the, the sound will start to be very, very uh, slow and uh, out of tune because uh -huh. the pipes speak correct only if it speak with the right wind. Hmm. So the double function of bellows is to give reservoir mm -hmm. and to give the correct pressure to the pipes. Right. Okay? Hmm. So in the Normally, you can have one or more bellows in I a see. organ. I see. And this depends from how many different pressure you want to have. I see. Okay? Because mm -hmm. not all the pipes speak with the same pressure. Mm. It's not a rule. The rule is you do what you what you need. Mm. So if, if uh, you need a a certain kind of sound mm. you need one pressure and if you want a softer sound maybe you need a lower pressure mm. if you want a strong sound you need higher pressure mm. and this is related to the church of course or to the space you have to so you predetermine uh, it what pressure is required but then you cannot change after it's made already so it remains how you have or you can modulate it it's not exactly. Uh, you can uh, start, uh, for example, with uh, uh, you, you try to guess the correct pressure and uh, the correct sides of the pipes. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have to be skilled <laughs> and go as much close to the result as possible just in the uh, projecting uh, moment mm -hmm. you know at the time of project you have to know almost exactly what you will need for the sound you want I see but you have some small range in, in which you can move when you go in the church with the organ you do the voicing so uh, you start to make every single pipe speaking in the church. I see. Okay, so if you feel that the sound is not strong enough, you can maybe adjust a little bit the pressure mm -hmm. or change a little bit on the voicing style. But I see. this does not happen normally because the it's almost like air it's no. almost like air calibrating the air pressure, is it? Mm. More than the air pressure is calibrating the pipes. Also, the, the but but uh, modeling, yes, both. In, in fact, there are two things. Pipes. Yeah. Yeah. So the the, the pressure is uh, almost what what you decided from the beginning. 
I see. And it's based mainly to the experience. That you would know already. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Templates get formed if you're using a certain thickness. This is the pressure that you need or the motor that you need. Uh, exactly. I see. So, uh, in the second so, image has got two bellows in this. Did you use two bellows in yes. this one? In this organ, we have three bellows. I see. I see. It goes, yes. Because uh, I decided to split the wind between the two manuals. And to do so, we, we need the third bellows, which is the main reservoir. And uh, is the one that gives the strongest wind with the higher pressure. And then the second and the third bellow rise the lowering the, the pressure to the correct one. And we have also a big stop in pedal. Mm -hmm. So on the pedal board, which is a 16 foot, so a pipe of three meters. Wow. Which is in the back of the organ. Uh -huh. And we, for this stop, we need a lot of wind more. So mm -hmm. we take the wind from the first bellow, which is the biggest one. I see. The, the, more, the more strong. And then we bring the, the rest of the wind to the two manuals with the other two bellows. Mm -hmm. And this is only a 11 stop organ. Wow. So in bigger organs, you have 17, 20, 30 bellows. Don't tell me. Really? Because wind. Is... <laughs> yes, absolutely. In, uh, in San Giovanni Rotondo, we have uh, four. Six, yes, 17 bellows. San Giovanni is on the 17 bellows, my goodness. Plus, plus one main bellows for the strong wind uh -huh. and two other bellows for the pedal. I see. So totally we have 20. Mm -hmm. In the old... In the old times, I mean the original times, of course, before the electric motor came, in the are there still manual paddles there would be separate people pumping air or how how did that work originally yeah the, the, there were different systems uh, one is very on the very big organs they usually have main uh, uh, a, a main uh, place where two or three people were hanged to uh, a bar and uh -huh. pumping with the foot. I see. Like uh, something like the stepper in the like, like modern. Like moving. Uh, yeah. Like the and gymnasium thing. Yeah, gymnasium exactly. thing. Exactly. Like see. the stepper in the, in the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. In the smaller organ in Italy, we have uh, manual pumping with mm -hmm. a lever. So you lift up, you have two bellows. I see. Once one bellow is up, you lift. You go down and give the wind, mm -hmm. and when the the first bellow is almost down, you lift up the second I one. I see. So it's a. Uh, it's to like sustain to have, sustain the same pressure, like on the harmonium, the, the good player would know how to sustain the same pressure because otherwise the sound can change. In that sense. Exactly. So it's a similar, uh, uh, you know, etiquette. The uh, people who are, uh, were they called? Was it a particular term that you call people who were uh, 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 pumping the uh, air? Tiramantici in Italian. Tira. Tiramantici. Tira tira, oh, tira in Italian is a mantice. Acha mantice. And tira is with hands. Like the ones who push. Tira is tira. A pull. To pull, push. Pull. Yeah, okay. So that, okay. that how you, you do the wind. Of I course, see. in the modern organ, we have also electric blower. <laughs> so yes. we don't need... A yes. Also, uh, there was one organ which uh, Professor Claudio Brissi was playing. Uh, there were uh, foot paddles also. There was a small, uh, almost like the piano thing uh, with a foot paddle in. Uh, which is that kind? Yes. It's, uh, uh, I think you are speaking about the harmonino. Oh, I see. Small, uh, so it's not the organs. Yeah. Uh, the one that he was playing with is more harmonium kind. Okay, with the reeds, yeah, not the not the pipes, but with the reed. 
reeds. Oh, okay, exactly. okay. But for the organs, they were or always uh, tira, tira mantici or with the electric motor. Yes. In and the, it's... My grandfather, in the very early first part of his life, as organ builder, he built uh, organ, pipe organs, with pedal like harmonium. I see. Really? Yeah, because the, there was not so many money uh, mm -hmm. to buy electric blowers. I see. So he, he decided to uh, take out the pedal board, which was not so important for the, you know, for the liturgy, for the, the mass. It was more important to play by with the hand mm -hmm. to, to accompany the choir more mm -hmm. than to have a pedal board. So we saved the money of the blower, but we put more pipes in. I see. That was the guess. I see. Is there something that still exists? I would love to see one of those. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I, I, will, I will share with you some picture. Because, yeah, or uh, you or you can share one with me too with the organ also. <laughs> I'll be glad to have it. <laughs> I'll be glad to get the old one. I'm just kidding. So this uh, electric motor uh, to come back to the so you have in, in the last image of the um, yes, bellows see, is the motor. The, yes, you see the the wind blower mm -hmm. that push the wind on the first bellow, which is the lower one, mm -hmm. and then with the wind channel that we go up and we feel the two bellows that are under the wind chest. Mm -hmm. This is the normal bellow, uh, we can say the modern one. I see. Because the old one uh, were made like the, you know, like the pump for the uh, firehouse. I see. Uh, it's made like... Uh, uh, yes, exactly like the pump for the uh, house, firehouse. I see, I see. Fantastic. And, and uh, what kind of motor is this? What kind of wind blower is this? Uh, is it... Uh, this is a special blower that is built expressly for organs because that it must be very, very silent. silent. And what is the decibels yes. that you're looking at? How many decibels do you do? You have a requirement for decibels uh, for the yeah, sound yeah, for the the standard blower without any kind of case. Uh, it's very very quiet. Uh, normally, it's under twenty decibels. It's very I see. low. I see. Uh, I, I don't I don't remember exactly the the the, the quantity, but it's very very quiet. I see. But normally we, we do different things to, to make it more quiet. I see. Virtually, you, you will not hear the blower. Mm -hmm. You will hear only the, the, the sound of wind. Right, right. Which is not possible to avoid. Of course, there is wind, so it will tell that I am here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So now we go to the flue pipes. But, uh, uh -huh. Yes, you can yeah. fit. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Flue pipes. And we, 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 we yeah. take yeah. a big a big care about the 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 noise that comes from the blower, mm -hmm. especially the, the 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 noise the, the most uh, uh, disturbing noise from the blower is the frequency from the current the 50 see. hertz i see which is go very often is in conflict with a, a a very important part of the organ sound which are the bass frequencies yeah so if you have this uh, um on the ground at 50 hertz or 60 hertz it depends from the region mm -hmm. uh, you you go in conflict with the note uh, G I note, see. okay? So the lowest G, it start to sound weak because go in conflict with the yeah. frequency it's of flashing. the current. Uh -huh. So we, yeah. But we we found some some tricks to avoid this uh, noise. I see. And which are those tricks? 
Uh, easy, very easy. <laughs> it comes from my experience in uh, high fidelity music. I see. So you 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 have to uh, this uh, this coupling. Uh, you have to find a way to make the blower will not touch anything. Yes. Yeah. So it's easy. You you have to make a flying blower. Yeah, exactly. So you use a, a, a particular rubber underneath, or what do you use? Yeah, it depends from 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 every different situation, but you you can use like in this you see in this picture, there is a, a elastic cord. You see that there is in the right on the left of the picture. Right. You see there is a, a rubber, uh, a rubber cord, mm -hmm. uh, a rubber wire, and the, the blower is suspended. So you, if you touch the blower, move. And it's collected uh, to the to the bellow with the leather, so mm -hmm. it don't transmit any vibration. So the blower is uh, working with uh, no uh, rigid, no solid connection to the structure. I see. And that's a very very good thing because you don't you don't hear this uh, very low hum. Mm -hmm. That is normally you that you normally listen in the most of the organs. I see. I see. So Fantastic. I told you a secret. Yes. <laughs> your your secret is out, <laughs> Claudio. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and now we go to the very very important part of the job, uh -huh. the flue pipes. Right. So in the first two picture you see this uh, schematic about the 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 very I I can say this is the the birth of the organ because with this kind of software I can start making uh, a tonal design of the organ mm -hmm. that is in my mind. So uh, in this uh, in this organ we started from some uh, well-known measure we have mm -hmm. of, from this uh, old organ in uh, Trevi in my town uh, that is 500 years old mm -hmm. and of course after I took the old measure I tried to harmonize this in a modern in a modern way mm -hmm. because we uh, of course in the in the fifth in the 16th century they didn't have so many precise work so that the scaling of pipes is not so uh, regular mm -hmm. so I, st I start to draw the different uh, stops and here you can look at the the name of every stop you know right. principale which is the main mm -hmm. prospect mm -hmm. tava in green which is the the second stop mm -hmm. on the first manual then 15th which is uh, the third stop, mm -hmm. then there is a flute, right, and, and so on, all, all the stop of this organ, and mm -hmm. then you, you can see more in detail. You see there are the notes, right. and the red line, which, which represent the zero, mm -hmm. which is the normal scale mm -hmm. we call in organ building. So this normal scale, that means everything and nothing, because there is no normal scale <laughs> at all. Uh, it's a, a kind of point of reference in diameters. Uh -huh. And this organ is a small organ, so all the diameters are quite narrow, mm -hmm. because the organ will stay in a very small church, so we don't need a big sound, mm -hmm. or we, we will make all the people <laughs> running out from the church uh, <laughs> screaming so <laughs> and in the next picture you see the rough material we use these are a uh, sheet uh, made of pure lead oh pure lead because, i see uh, yes this is 19.99 percent lead wow and lead is, it's not poisonous, this is like pure, no contamination? The, the lead is poisoning if you eat 
I see. And we don't have to. <laughs> you know, okay. uh, or <laughs> or if you breathe, the, yes. If you breathe the, exactly. the powder, uh -huh. but we made no power, no powder because we cut with the uh, we cut with the uh, cutting machine, mm -hmm. and we solder. I see. But so when we no, solder, you have to wear. Yeah. We have masks and we have a uh, aspiration plant. Okay. To, on the soldering table, there is a, a special uh, uh, fan that I see that takes throw away uh, the. Okay, that's amazing. So I didn't know. Problem. I didn't know that you that the pipes were made of lead. Actually, pure lead. <laughs> the uh, the old pipes in the in the old time mm -hmm. they were made mainly in lead. I see. With small percentage of uh, other uh, metals. I see. The prospect pipes uh -huh. outside, the one you see in the in the prospect in the casework, mm -hmm. they are made mainly in tin. I see. Because mm -hmm. they must look like silver. Silver. So yeah. They must be shiny. Yeah. And the tin comes from India <laughs> or from <laughs> Thailand. Yeah. So they, they were. And it was really, really uh, expensive. Mm. That's why they they used to use mainly lead because it was cheaper. I see. And more and more easy to to work, work with. Yeah, it's, it's more malleable. Yeah, it's soft. Uh -huh. Softer. Mm -hmm. uh, so how thick? This, yeah. Thick. You can you can see in the picture you we have. Metal sheets that start from one millimeter, mm -hmm. then you see 0 0.9, 0 mm -hmm. 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, right. and after 0 0.5, then you start to have also 0 0.45, 0 0.40, 0 0.35, mm -hmm. because we need all the different thickness mm -hmm. with respect to the scaling of the of the pipes. Mm -hmm. And which is the minimum thickness that you use? Normally, we don't go under 0 0.3, 0 0.25, not, not less, because... You mean you don't use zero? <laughs> I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, but my pipe maker say he, he cannot solder it. <laughs> he cannot solder <laughs> Maybe he cannot catch it also. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. His fingers are like uh, asbestos, you know, <laughs> filled with the. <laughs> That's amazing. So uh, the next one, then you do the cutting of that. You use a cutting machine, as you mentioned. Yes, we have a table with a cutting machine, and we do this by hand. There is no, no, chance to do in uh, another way. Mm -hmm. In fact, the the the, the pipes production. Uh, can seem something industrial, uh -huh. but at the end, it's all made by hand. Wow! So you, everything you see, all also, if you have to make five thousand pipes, mm. there is no industrial process. Right. <laughs> to no cus way. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be very expensive. Just the R and D to create a machine would be mind-boggling. Yeah. Yeah, you you have to think that the, but the that price of mati every time it's a different organ. <laughs> of course, no, no, there are not yeah. there are not are two pipes the same. Mm, yeah. yeah, but you, you have to think that the price of material at the region, mm. maybe with a thin is uh, about fourteen euro per kilo. Right. Once you re reduce it in sheet. The price is doubled. Wow. So, very expensive process. Yeah, yeah. So these and are all the, the table. Yeah, on the table are five thousand pipes. <laughs> Almost no, not all the five hundred because here we have only the inside stops. Oh, I see. These are the 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 pipes that are on the wind chest and you don't see from outside i see, I see. and these are all made of lead i see and you see that attila which is the pipe maker mm -hmm. uh, is uh, preparing with a red paint 
Yeah, no, we're going and there. I'm on, the, uh, I'm on the second image of the cut pipes, which are beautifully stacked. One on top yeah. is almost like a beautiful pattern. I mean, it is a beautiful pattern. <laughs> um, and it shows the tower, the lead, the lead tower. It's amazing. Yeah. So these yeah, are how many? Tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are eight lines, is it? Yes. Yes. Three, four, Eight five, lines. Five on top and three on three below. Yes. And we have the there are only eight because one is the prospect which is in another material. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And another one is not on the table because it's the red stock which oh, I see. will be cut later. I see. And you will see in another picture. I see. And this is so the, these the, are all the internal pipes, mm -hmm. flue pipes. And now we have the gentleman who's. Uh, what is he using? What material is being used for coating? This is a special paint that he know the recipe. I see recipe <laughs> recipe. I see. I see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it is needed because. Uh, when you solder the pipe, if you want to make a, a, a good solder, a good soldering, mm -hmm. uh, with a straight line and no uh, bevels or bed, uh, you, you have to protect the part of metal you don't want to solder. Mm -hmm. So first, you, you, you paint the, 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 the metal, mm -hmm. and then with a scrap, take out the part of uh, painting and metal that he had to solder. I see, I see. So this is to protect the rest. Yes. Exactly. Because lead it's can to, lead to can leave. react very harshly to anything hot. It can change. If you, if you don't if you don't paint, you you can uh, solder but you will have a yeah. very uh, unprecise mm. soldering. Right, right. This and is amazing. In the in the next picture, you see the, the all the feet of the pipes ready to be soldered. So the pipe is is uh, made of three main parts. Mm -hmm. There is a body which is normally cylindrical. Mm -hmm. Then there is a diaphragm, which is uh, we call uh, the sole of mm -hmm. the pipe in italian anima mm, yes yes and then you and then you have the foot once you solder all these three parts mm -hmm. then you can start working on the on the mouth of the of the pipe right and start the pipe speaking mm -hmm. i see these are all the uh, first one and then the second one image after that there are flat pieces on that these that's the um, prospect pipes the prospect pipes I see and these are cut like they are cut cut spaces or uh, is basically they are to be turned they will they will be made, made round yeah this is the the when you cut, they are flat, and then you put on the iron uh, tubes and give the shape. Uh -huh. And what you see now on the picture, you, you are looking to the picture flat on the, the table, green, yeah, uh, with the cloth. green, yeah, with the green cloth, yeah. the first one, yeah. Okay, the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. Then you see the process for the building of the prospect pipes, uh -huh. which are made of 90% tin, 10% right. lead. I see. So we are at the opposite. Uh -huh. And this is a very hard material yes. to work. Mm. And we decided to have a special, very special kind of work on this pipe <laughs> that is named uh, tortiglione in Italian, mm -hmm. uh, which means that when you finally the pipe will be closed, you will see like a spiral. Yes, I going see that. Yeah, 
all around the bike. Yeah. And it's something that belongs more to jewelry than than to yeah. organ pipe. Yeah. Because you have to work with the tool from the inside. Mm-hmm. You see that on the table you you have the flat. Is it about metal. 30 degrees or how many degrees is that? That's a secret I cannot tell you. I, I mean, come on, I can measure it from here. You're, you're talking to the wrong man. It, depen- <laughs> <laughs> uh, it depends from the from the from the style. The design. If you yeah, want to have a very, if you want to have a very elegant about yes, 30 degrees is uh-huh. uh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You you can you can have also more more 45 or yes. 40 mm. but then it go down very very very, very quickly quick. very quick yeah. yeah and it's not so elegant yeah exactly it seems like okay you want to do something special but you don't want to waste your time <laughs> okay so <don't. laughs> if you do you have to do right <laughs> and and you see that also uh, there is a scrap on the lower part of the flat uh, of the flat piece, which is uh, named metering. You have a very special design that you scrap from the metal, mm-hmm. and then it will be the mouth of the right. pipe. Mm-hmm. But you have to do before you close the pipe. Oh, I see. So you do because you can't do anything inside. afterwards. I see. Fantastic. No, you 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 can do. You can do also later, but without scrapping, the result is much more evanescent. It's not precise, it's Mm -hmm. not sharp. Also because you don't want to, you don't want to change the thickness of the pipe also, no? Of course. So you're making an incision, but not, not eating out the metal. No, no, no. The thickness remains the same. Just a trace. Yes. That when you when you pl- then when you apply the, the metal, it came out and give you very shape, uh, very sharp corner. Mm-hmm. So it's beautiful to see from outside. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. And, and then, if you look at the, the the image, the second image, yeah, of yeah. the prospect. We were looking at that. You only. see this metering. Yeah. And you see this uh, spiral. Mm. And if you look carefully, you will see that the spirals are not the same. Yes. One is clockwise and one is counterclockwise. Yes. <laughs> and of course, there is a reason for that. Uh-huh. That belongs to the general idea of the organ. Right. Because that, that's something I like to do when I project organs. I mean, uh, putting in the in the general layout mm-hmm. also some metaphysical concepts uh-huh. so that that's something that made me really happy i don't know why but i like to do that <laughs> <laughs> that's nice <laughs> that's wonderful the next image is uh, working with the hand is uh, fitting yes this is the process. Uh, this is just a sample. You see, it's a very short piece mm-hmm. because uh, Attila, before to do all the pipes, prepared uh, a short piece for me to, to evaluate oh, the I quality see. of the of this uh, of this work. Mm-hmm. So he, he was making this small piece to show me how how three dimensional could I see. be the 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 embossing. On the mm-hmm. on the on the metal, right. And this is just a test. And you see that he, with his hand, he have to give as, exactly like uh, a sculpture. Yes. So that's why I tell you that making pipes is really, really something really right. uh, artisan-like. Mm-hmm. It's not possible to do this work in any other way. So he and is using said, he is using a scrapper. It's a, a, uh, uh, or, or, a, a or just leather. Uh, he's a, he's a bo- wood. He's is using wood. I see. It's a, a maple wood, very hard wood. Uh huh. 
and he made these uh, small uh, sticks of different sides to do this work and with different angle and different uh, sharpness. Mm -hmm. Depends from the, 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 the depth and the, the way you want to uh, make the embossing uh, look like. Right. So basically and it's the embossing process with the wood only. That's amazing. Yeah. Yes. You can use the wood or also the metal. But it depends then what, what what kind of finishing you want to do to the pipe, because when you use the metal, mm. it's very easy to make scratches. Yeah. But it's it's not important if if you then if you uh, polish the pipe with uh, with uh, you know with some tools to make it shiny. I mean something like the but jewelers, like when we do uh, polishing, we use. Uh, uh, you know, the, the grit is 24,000, uh, 12,000, 24,000 grit also to clean, like the goldsmiths would use sometimes. Do you use uh, those kind of emery papers also with, um, what's the maximum grit that you use for polishing? Mm -hmm. For polishing, but do we, we don't, no, we don't use the sandpaper to, to clean the pipes. At all, at all. Okay, because it will eat anyway. Only it eats only wood. Only wood to make this work, and then we polish with the clothes and with some special uh, uh, moisturings. I see. But the 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 most of organ builders they use uh, cloth on the drill machine. You know, a, a yes. turning machine with yes. the clothes. Right to, right to to make it shiny like uh, like uh, chrome. Yes, it's I can like, see that in like the image now. Yeah. But uh, but the, the image that you see now, this polishing is not made with machine. It's made by hand. Hand, I saw. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. And, and that. And and this is only wood. Shine, this is only wood. Wood and then and the cloth. with clothes. I see. Fantastic, fantastic. And this is the, the, the old style, I mean, the, the traditional mm -hmm. way to do the, pi the pipes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to have also uh, uh, matte pipes so that don't shine. Right, right. So, so we use uh, steel wool, very, very thin. Yes. Uh, steel wool and we made it uh, matte surface mm -hmm. and the so, pipes now are finished and capped with a little uh, cut for the yes with a little cut uh, for the mouth so the uh, cut for the shape. mouth uh, for the reed almost like that is uh, again shaped or carved out how do you do it or is it uh, is it uh, no, the the mouth you you open later with a with a knife from outside inside you 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 prepare just the the side so it is cut and then soldered it is is it yes yeah it's almost like yeah. slicing uh, creating the angle then putting a separate pipe and then soldering it right uh, no 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 it uh you take out the material you you don't add nothing the three pieces is a is a complete pipe i and see when you then then when you cut the the mouth uh -huh. you take away a part of the of yeah. the metal yeah and open the 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 space where the sound will uh, will be uh, regulated right no, I was looking at the shape towards the mouth of it. No, there's a little, uh, little curve. There's a little uh, shape, yeah, like the yeah, flute yeah. has, like the flute yeah. has. So exactly. this one is like uh, uh, originally the pipe is all round. Yes. Right. And you you press with the so you with a tool. Uh, you just press it, so it's not cut out or shaped or soldered. Can be. But in this case, is uh, just press it, oh, I see. under trace it, under trace it, 
and then press it on, uh, on a very special tool. But yes. of course, you can also solder the mouth. Mm -hmm. This, but this is more uh, in Germany. Uh, you know, German style is more to have a shield, uh, not the meter, I see. but shield, the round shield, and they used to solder. Of course, I it's see. a very good process. Mm -hmm. It's much more expensive mm -hmm. because it's very hard to 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 make a soldered mouth. Right. But if the if the customers like, no problem. I see. Uh -huh. This is this typical Italian uh, uh, metering I see. on on the mouth. Mm -hmm. it's two two and a half times of the mouth. And the soldering, uh, the gentleman is now doing soldering, is it? Yeah, this is the 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 way he used to sold, uh -huh. to solder, and uh, you see that. It, it, it took away the, the painting from the mm -hmm. surface, from the angle, mm -hmm. from the bevel. Right. And then after you give the shape, it, it puts two points of soldering mm -hmm. to keep the piece together. And then in one single line, you have to do a single passage. Oh, I see. Because, yes, yes. Because if, if you do too many times, you make holes because right. the, the, the the piece became warmer, mm. and every time you go on with a soldering machine, mm. <laughs> the, the, the paint uh, fall out, and then mm. you can throw it in the basket. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no chance to, to recover. <laughs> recover it, I see. He has to redo it again. <laughs> yeah, and it's easy, or at least it's more easy to solder such a small piece like foot, but when you have a full length pipe, like eight foot pipes, mm. it is two, two and a half meter, mm. and you have to make in one straight line yeah. on a very, very, very uh, thin material. Mm. And uh, for example, the prospect pipes, mm. they are made of 90% thin. So it, sure. it will melt in uh, nothing. So you you must be very very skillful to do this job. It takes years for mm. a man to to learn mm. how to solder pipes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the next photo what? is yeah. Go ahead, finish your sentence. Yeah. No. The next photo is the wood pipes, mm -hmm. and you see that they are made with different woods mm -hmm. because. Uh, you need, for example, the the external part of the pipe is uh, most important for the uh, resonance. Right. So you use soft soft wood like pine wood or uh, cypress or <coughs> cedar wood. You can use different kind of woods. Mm -hmm. Chestnut also in our tradition is very common, mm -hmm. but for some part, it's better to use hard wood like the mouth. You mm -hmm. see, it's made with the chestnut, right? Wa walnut, Italian walnut, <laughs> and uh, this uh, horizontal uh, piece of wood that is the the soul. We say the language mm -hmm. uh, is made with uh, another hard wood that must be very hard because this kind of uh, part must not be uh, easy to destroy, right? Because, because it's where the sound uh, yeah. uh, is generated, <laughs> right? Okay, so this is very important. This is the you soul. We're looking at the soul of the instrument, yeah, <laughs> of the pipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's and amazing. you see that in a just a simple thing, which is a a wood pipe is a four table of wood mm. but you need to make very very precise joint and uh, very precise gluing mm. because this pipe can last for 500 years mm. but if you do something wrong we last for one season yes <laughs> because a big table of pine 
if they are not worked good and if, if you don't do the good joining, mm. the joint between tables, with a, a little bit of humidity, they will start yes. to crack yeah. <laughs> and explode. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's amazing. On the next image, yeah. you see the biggest pipe for the, for the inside of the organ. And if you look, they are, there are two different colors. Yes. The, you see? The body of the pipe is very dark and the foot is brighter. Right. That's, that's why the upper part is made of lead and it's very heavy. Mm -hmm. Mechanically speaking, the lead is not so mechanically resistant. So, if you want to be smart, you have to do the foot of the pipe with tin, with high percentage of tin, mm. and the body in lead. So, the pipes will not collapse. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. this pipe, one of these pipe is uh, almost 20 kilos. Wow. And it's just 1.5 meter. So it's not a big pipe, but it's right. very heavy. Uh -huh. yeah. Once the pipe are finished, you have to install on the organ. Yeah, this is and amazing. This, and this they, like gentleman is standing inside. It's quite big. <laughs> it's not small. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is not big. This is small. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, just, just uh, I think uh, Cla uh, Claudio Brizzi was mentioning that there was one which is like three stories tall. The one that you guys did, uh, that was quite amazing. <laughs> I saw the video of there that. Are some organ there are some organs you can sleep in. You can put a bed and sleep inside. <laughs> Next time when I come, we have to, I, I, I have to steal you, <laughs> show me some. I wouldn't mind sleeping one night in an organ. <laughs> Okay. I, I, and maybe I'll, I'll compose. Can, uh, I'll compose something. Co compose something that'll go in history. That I compose something in that organ when I slept that night. <laughs> <laughs> and so is the, you see that they are installing the pipes. Mm -hmm. They they need to be supported on all the perimeter. And this for the prospect pipes, of course. They have hooks on the back. Right, right. And this and, woodwork is look, coming beautiful. I mean, we didn't have photos of the woodwork part, not the whole process. I know we did very quickly, but it'll be wonderful to see that also. This is looking very beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah, the, the woodwork is... Uh, and I can see the keys also are already there. They've quite a quite a lot of i mean quite a bit of assembling has already happened yes this is a we can say the three-fourth of the of the job is completed I here mm -hmm. okay. uh, just the, the the outside must be finished mm -hmm. but uh, and the decoration uh -huh. and the next image is with all the pipes inside it's a close-up of these Exactly, and you see there is this uh, table mm -hmm. made of poplar, which is very very soft wood. Yeah, and we we, we make holes, and we put also uh, felt inside the hole right. to preserve the pipes because the pipes are really really easy to scratch right. or to press. I see. So we 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 put felt to to give the pipe the, the, the free of movement without make scratches. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the, the hooks on the back of prospect pipes. Uh -huh. you, can, you can see the hooks uh, and the, the, this table uh, that uh, keep the pipe straight is named the rack board. Right. Okay. Right. Then we speak 
briefly about the reed stops. Yeah. Which are a different kind of pipes because they don't speak like a flute. So the wind don't excite itself. Mm -hmm. But they speak because there is a small brass tongue that beat. I see. Like, like in harmonium, but mm -hmm. harmonium is a free reed. So right. it means that move, move freely. These are beating reeds. So there is a shallot made of brass itself, mm -hmm. and the tongue beat with the wind because when it closes, mm -hmm. the, the tongue is made like a spring. I see. So the, the, the wind pressure uh, uh, starts to make the tongue beating, mm -hmm. but then because she is elastic, go back. And then the wind close again, I see. so it start beating very very fast. I see. And putting a special uh, tool on the on the pipe that give exact point of tuning. So the pipe will have exactly the number of beating of the frequency. Mm -hmm. I see. And in the picture you see the shallots with the blocks. Yeah. And in the second picture, you see the second part of the reed, which is the resonator. That is a simply a amplifying case. It's like the, 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 the acoustic case for a guitar or for uh, a rabab. Right. So the, the, the sound is made with, by the tongue. The pitch is given by the tongue, mm -hmm. and the resonator simply made it louder or softer. It depends from the shape mm -hmm. you give. And the reeds are, are incredibly uh, terminated number of stops. I see. You can have in a, any different uh, uh, shape you want. Mm -hmm. There are thousands. Hmm. Just fantasy. <laughs> you, right. you can Amazing. invent. You... Right, right. In the past. And this is... paint, uh, the paint remains, uh, Claudio, on this, or that is removed after the soldering. After after the the stop is finished, so you you wash it with a uh, hot water. It just very goes. Hot water. And, uh, yes. Oh, I see. Because it's see. Uh, a painting. It's a, something like the. The is it water-based or uh, animal? Yes, it's water-based. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, but it, it's not a, you know, uh, it's very particular uh, painting because it, it must be easy to wash, hmm. but it also must be very resistant to, to the hot temperature. So the, yeah. uh, it must be elastic because when you bend the the the, the model yeah. when you model it the, shouldn't the crack body, just just it flip crack, yeah. it should not peel off it, it yeah. must be must be sticky yeah. <laughs> because the the metal so that's the secret the recipe is it that's the secret recipe <laughs> every I I know I don't know how to do it but I know that every every pipe maker have his own recipe uh, recipe I see. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Because they, they, they like everyone's like to to adjust the the painting mm -hmm. to his own style. Right, right. And then we come to the assembling part. Yes, because once you prepare all the parts, it comes the time that you have to put it together. Mm. So you have a base on the floor, a frame, a main frame which give you the exact position uh, of the part mm. and you start building uh, the, the case of the organ to support all the parts. In the first picture you see just the, the back of the organ mm. and the, the, the main molding that right. is also the support for the wind chest. Pure carpentry. <laughs> this is... Yeah, at this, least. Yeah. 
and and then you start to put him inside all the mechanical parts that you need right. and in the third picture you see the wind chest which have two side support and lay exactly in the position on the same line of the console where the, the keyboard are right so what and this must be exactly 100 percent right. because everything must go through you know imagine the 1.5 millimeter wire that go through three four holes that are on the same perpendicular <laughs> <laughs> and you have to go through all these holes with no frictions and no and mistakes. Amazing. <laughs> and amazing. so if we go on onward, you will see that after the positioning of the main parts, then you start to make connections between the parts. Mm -hmm. And you see, uh, yeah, this is the one, two... The gentleman is uh, putting the three. keys now? Yes, it's connecting the keys. Uh -huh. And if you go to the next one... Which the the is paddles, paddles like, are also there. Yes, Amazing. here you can see the pedal. <laughs> Amazing. And you see this very... What a visual delight. This is amazing. High. Amazing work. Wow, wow. It is a, a, a very uh, fascinating work. It's amazing. That, amazing. Uh, uh, but uh, this is, you know, it's like a double, double sharp knife because this work is really fascinating and have a very powerful. Uh, 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 power of fascination yeah, yeah. to the people so very often there are young guys that think to okay i want to be an organ builder so they start from books or from simply from experiment in right. at home and they think they can do anything but <laughs> <laughs> it's not so easy you know it's a long time to to understand all the process mm. Mm and all the technique yeah. so if you want to be an organ builder you have to study with an organ builder yeah, that's true and, no doubt about and that. The, tra the training is very long you know <laughs> 10 years minimum yeah <laughs> no it is it's not a joke uh, it is not a joke no <laughs> tracker action yeah. tracker action that is the the the, par the 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 part of the organ that uh, give you the chance to make anything moving. Mm -hmm. So the keyboard, stop action, pedal action, couplers action. Mm -hmm. So you have mainly these four things. Right. And here in this first picture, you can see almost all of them. Right. You see the two keyboards. With a roller board on the back that put the transmission from the keyboard to the pallet mm -hmm. on the chest and then you see the two lines of stops on mm -hmm. the side mm -hmm. and every lever have you can see that go outward then go back then go outward again and mm -hmm. then open and close the stop mm. You see in the uh, in the next picture, you you see this uh, transmission horizontal transmission. So you you have yeah. to when you draw the organ, you have to think that inside you have to left the space to do all these things. Hmm. So if you have a lot of space, maybe it's easy. But when you have a very small space like here, you have to be very careful. Mm. Because it's easy to go out from yes. the yeah, and the 
On the third picture, you see the sliders on the chest. Wow. And the, sli yeah. the slider is, is the one that opens and close the stop. Yeah. It's a piece of wood with holes made in the same point of the pipes, mm -hmm. but when you move it, close and open. Mm -hmm. And you see that there are no one like another. Yeah. So every piece is made by hand to match exactly the travel you need to mm -hmm. open and close. Right. Amazing. And here, and in the next one, you see always the, the trackers, the action system for the stop. And, and now you see also wow. the bellows and the, yes. the beginning of the wind, the wind distribution, right. which is another important part. Hmm. This is then amazing. We, we see some more details of yeah. the actions hmm. and the next image is with the metal parts also yes we have the the roller boards are made of uh, iron mm -hmm. and we use to make uh, the the wires are made with a modern material <laughs> carbon fiber oh i see which is very mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very, very good material because uh, it's uh, resistant to anything. Right. Water, uh, humidity, temperature, it, may, it doesn't matter to, mm. to carbon fiber. Right. And this is important because, as I told you before, the distance between the pallet and the yeah. key must be absolutely stable. That's true. So when you use carbon fiber, you know that you are decreasing safe. the chance that yeah. is, uh, <laughs> you're safe that something go wrong <laughs> that's true yeah and then we have uh, the the gilding part gilding part yes we we used to to make also this kind of work mm -hmm. for the uh, it's a very precious work because it's made exactly with the whole technique so you have first you have to make the the wood part and cover with the chalk, mm. and then you have to make very very shiny surface. Mm. Then you give this red paint, which is called the uh, uh, bolo, I think. It's a kind of painting that prepare for the silver or gold foil. Uh huh. And everything must be absolutely like silk, perfect surface. Right, right. Then you give the mission, which is a painting, a very sticky paint. Mm -hmm. And at the end, you put the, the foil on. And then you can decide to have in silver or gold or silver with a final varnishing mm -hmm. on the top which looks like gold, but not exactly like gold. Mm. Just one I prefer, because it's not so strong like a real gold. Right, right, right. And yeah. after this very short trip, because we, 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 we didn't sew a lot of things. I know. <laughs> no. it, you know it's, a, it's about 20% uh, of the eight months process yeah, yeah. we can see the instrument finished yeah let's have see a that yeah. the color the color of the case is uh, darker than what we saw before mm. because it's painted with uh, to match the existing wood mm -hmm. and you see that the all the organ is almost the same you see from the beginning in the final sketch. Right, right. That's beautiful. And we can Absolutely see... Absolutely beautiful. Some details. I, I like to write, for example, the all the, the rights on the organ, 
uh-huh. are made by hand with the I see. old style uh-huh. pen with the red uh, red capital letter and then with the brown uh, ink mm-hmm. and we don't use any kind of uh, synthetic painting so all the wood is made with a classic uh, wax I see you know uh, because wow. the beautiful and so that's all <laughs> beautiful the keyboards looking amazing the photo is also beautiful the colors have come the wood uh, so uh, you've used what what do you use on top like the violinist the, the luthai or the luthiers use or is it something else on the keyboard on know? the whole instrument i mean on the wood do you use some wax or what do you use we use natural wax uh-huh natural wax well first we we give the the any oil the color sometimes also oil but uh, mainly i prefer wax okay only wax and then uh, uh, simply finishing with clothes i see beautiful but of course the, the oil is very good because give more color mm-hmm. because penetrate much more yeah but uh, you have to be sure that nobody touch because true yeah if, if they start if, like it this organ is in the middle of the church so mm. uh, when the organ is on the balcony maybe it's more it's protected safer, yeah then you can use also maybe more uh open wood finishing yeah yeah these pipe close ups now are really beautiful they've come so well front front really photo really is really yes. beautiful <laughs> If you like to to play with the numbers, you know, yeah, you can start looking at this organ and and uh, counting and uh, making a diction. It's uh, <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> When you will come in Italy, I will tell you more. Yeah, about of course. Yeah. And I I w- I want to bring you in Norcia. Yeah. <laughs> it's very 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 nice people. <laughs> I see. Mm-hmm. And uh the this is Opus 450. Mhm. Which is the the last one, not the last one we made another one this year. It's 51. Uh-huh. Now we are 451 organs. I see. And uh, uh, the 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 tongs looking beautiful now. The, the ones amazing work. Fantastic really. This is uh, number 450. So I think uh, because when I read your thing must have been an older excerpt of your biography. It had 430 organs. So this is 450th. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is amazing. The side uh, panels with the so do you do the calligraphy yourself or with hand or is it laser the writing now you did it yourself yeah yeah come yes, on yes. i have to take i have oh really i have my you you, you don't believe me i no. have pens <laughs> specially made for this i see oh wow it's amazing It's different uh, different cut to make more gothic styles or freehand styles depending wow. what you want to i have oh i don't know i i, I lost the number i think it's 30 40 different pens i 